Hello guys and welcome to this new Tableau tutorial. In this video I will show you how to create Sankey diagram. Sankey diagram is a type of visualization where we can show the flow from one dimension to another. In our case we have two dimensions, one which is education field and the second one it is the department. And the flow represents the total employees within the company. The data set that we are going to use in this tutorial is the IBM HR data set where the link is available in the description. As you can see here for the rows, we have some rows which are larger than the others. And as we will see, the size of these rows will depend on the total employees. The technique that we are going to learn in this tutorial was created by Jeffrey Schaffer. And the Sankey diagram will allow us to do a deeper analysis and to give better explanations of our data set. So in order to create our Sankey diagram, we are going to do that step by step. For example, as you can see here, the third variable, which is named padding, represents the different dots, okay? That will allow us to create our curve, all right? So as you can see here, we have the shape of our curve. And also, as you can see here, we have the sigmoid function, okay? So we have the same shape. As you can see also on the left and on the right, we have the different percentages here for the departments and here for the education field, etc. So first we are going to import our data set. As you can see here, I changed the name of the file. So I name it ibmdata.csv because we are going to use this name in order to create a calculated field. And you can name it as you want. We are going to use three different fields. So the first one is the department. The second one is the employee count, right? And the third one is the education field. So you click on sheet one. As we have said, we are going to use education field, department, and also we said that the larger is the row, the higher is the number of the employees. So if we drag and drop employee count into text, we can sort that. And as you can see here, for example, for life sciences, we have three different departments, research and development, sales and human resources where research and development has the highest value, which is 440, okay? So we'll have education field on the left, department on the right, the rows will represent the total employees, and the larger is the row, the higher is the number of the employees. So we remove everything. And we come back to our data source. We click on our data, convert to union, and we are going to union our file by itself. Apply. Okay. If we go to the right, we can see new column appearing, which is named table name. We are going to use this field in order to create two different values. One, it is one, and the other one is 49. And this will allow us to create a start point and an end point for our rows. So the analysis done by Jeffrey Schaffer said that if we start from 1 to 49, we'll have enough dots or points in order to create our curves. We'll have the shape of a sigmoid function. So click on sheet 1. We click on the down row in here, create calculated field, and we name it to pad. So we say if table name. In our case, in my case, I name it IBM data dot csv right then give me one else give me 49 and apply okay so we can convert it to dimension and if we drag and drop it into the rows we can see that we have two values we have one and 49 we are going to use this field in order to create our bins so we click on the down row in here create bins and we name it padding size of bins one and it starts from one to 49 okay we are going to create another calculated field or another variable we'll name it t T will depend on the index function, okay? So it will be index minus 25 
divided by 4. We are going to use this variable or this calculated field in order to create our curve using the sigmoid function. So it starts from 1, so we have 1 minus 25 is minus 24, divided by 4 will give us minus 6, until 49. So 49 minus 25 is 24, divided by 4, it will give us 6. Apply. OK. Now if we drag and drop T into columns, padding into detail, we click on T, compute using padding, and we click on automatic, convert it to circle, we get our pins. So we start from minus 6 up to 6. So this will allow us to create our curve from starting point to an end point. Next, we are going to create our sigmoid function. So same thing, click down arrow in here, create calculated field, we name it sigmoid, right? And it will be 1 divided by 1 plus exponential of 1, okay, to give us e to the power of minus t. So like that, we have our sigmoid function. Apply, okay. Now I'm going to create two identical calculated fields. We will name them rank 1 and rank 2. These calculated fields will be used to create the curve and also to define where each row starts and ends. So click same thing in here, create calculated field. We name it rank 1. And it will be the running sum, okay. In our case, we have the employee count divided by the total, right? So total of the sum of the employee count. So this is rank one, apply, okay. We're going to duplicate it and we rename that, name it rank two. Now we have all the calculated fields which allow us to create our curve, okay? Create calculated field, we name it curve, and it will be rank 1, okay, plus rank 2, minus rank 1, multiplied by the sigmoid function, okay? Apply. Okay. Now, if we drag and drop curve into the rows, as you can see here, we have only two dots, right? We have said that we want education field on the left and the department on the right. So, we drag and drop education field into detail, department into detail, and we are going to use nested calculations. So, click on curve. Edit table calculation and for rank 1, as we have said, we are going to use specific dimensions. It will start from education field to department along padding. So you put education field first, then department, and then padding. Same thing for rank 2, specific dimensions. It will go from department to education field through padding. Okay. And for T, we have said that it is a long padding. So we can close that. And as you can see here, we have only the dots. We can change circle into line. Click on padding. We change it into the path. All right. In order to remove this, we are going to change the size of our axis. So double click on the axis. Fixed. We can put it minus 5.5 .5 up to 5.5 .5. okay same thing we can remove the grid lines and the zero line so we click on format workbook and we are going to remove the grid lines of zero lines of same thing for the axis rulers off all right 
you can change education field into color all right and we double click on the axis we put it in the reverse order okay so like that it starts from we have human resources to life sciences to marketing medical other and we have technical degree so we have the alphabetical order we have also said that the larger is the row the higher is the number of the employees so we're going to create our final calculated field and we name it sizing and it will be right window average of the sum of the employee count apply okay so if you draw and drop sizing into the size and we click compute using padding we can see that the size will depend on the employee count we can increase the size as we have said in the first time we have for the education field we have 440 and it is for the department research and development now i'm going to format our sheet so first we double click on the axis fixed from 0 to 1 we can hide the title right click format and the shading it will be black and same thing we are going to hide the header same thing for this axis we can right click we remove the header we can change the name of the sheet into diagram and now we are going to create two other sheets so we have said one for education field and the other one is for the department so you click on your worksheet and we name it education field okay we drag and drop employee count into the rows education field into color we click on employee count quick table calculation percent of total we right click hide title double click size or the range fixed from 0 to 1 and we right click we remove the header we right click format and for the shading we are going to select none okay we can also add the label we press control key we drag and drop education field into label and same thing press control key we drag and drop the percentage into the label okay we can also format workbook and we select for the worksheet black bold and 10 okay increase the width a little bit okay so now we have our education field next we create a new worksheet and we name it department same thing we drag and drop employee count into the rows department into color here we can change the color okay so that we will not have the same colors as the education field select winter and for human resources for example we select this color research and development and for the cells apply okay same thing we select the percent of total we hide the title double click for the range it will be from 0 to 1 right click we remove the header and same thing we are going to press control key we add department into the label and same thing for the percentage I'm going to increase the width a little bit like that okay we right click format and for the shading we are going to select none okay so in order to create our final Sankey diagram we click on new dashboard we increase the width same thing for the height right so for the diagram we are going to put it tiled right we hide the title we click on dashboard format for the shading we select black we are going to remove the legends 
and for education field and department we are going to select floating so we have education field and we have the department same thing we remove the legends okay we hide the title we hide the title and same thing now I'm going to increase the height like this like that can decrease the width I'm going to put it on the right okay so this is for the education field we can do the same thing for the department it agrees like this decrease the width and like that we get our final diagram we can also add actions right so click on dashboard actions so add action highlight for the first one the source sheet it will be education field okay run action on hover and for the target sheets i'm going to select the diagram and education field okay okay so like this when we select our education field we'll have the arrows to the departments same thing we're going to create the second one action add action highlight same thing for the source it will be the department and for the target it will be the department and the diagram same thing hover okay okay so same thing when we select our department we get the different rows so that's it for the sankey diagram i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial